Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Out a bit earlier tonight um, on a small dairy farm. And he also has a few sheep. Uh, so uh, he's uh, got a, quite a few uh, fallow deer on this grain. So uh, he wants a couple of them shot. So uh, hopefully I can get a, a buck or two. Uh, failing that, he's seen a few foxes about. So uh, if I fail on the, uh, on the deer, then uh, we'll head out on the foxes. I'm just having a good scan about here and uh, I spot this small group of fallow lying under the hedge. So uh, I decide to uh, get a bit closer. I can't see if there's any bucks with them. They look like uh, does and uh, fawns to be honest, but uh, start making a move on them. spot this lone fallow buck in the field on his own but I'm losing the light fast and out the corner of my eye I see a Charlie coming in so I decide to go for him instead. Give this Charlie a few squeaks and he comes charging in. I drop him about 70 yards and I scan the field again and I spot another one coming so I try and give him a few squeaks but it doesn't go to plan. This footage is through the Alpex 4K with no IR and it's starting to get pretty dark now. <coughs> Just shot the first Charlie and I scanned the field and spot another one coming in. So I give it a few squeaks but he's not interested. I think he's heard that before. Something he didn't like at all. And he makes his way across the field. So I put my best foot forward to catch up with him. And uh, it doesn't go to plan. quick just starting to make a bit of a move on them uh, group of small group of fallow and uh, found a buck out in the field on his own so I started creeping on that looked at the corner of my eye here comes Charlie so uh, abandon the fallow and uh, give the Charlie a couple of squeaks in he comes to about 60 70 yards bang job done and look up there's another Charlie coming so give that one a couple of squeaks as well big mistake that's heard it before it starts cutting across the field so uh, put the best foot forward and cut him off and just as I'm coming at this little bank here me welly slipped in the in the wet grass Charlie looked straight at me saw me in the moonlight and gone I don't think I'll see him again tonight but uh, we'll keep trying let's go and find that first one I don't know how far he was not far I think Nice looking fox. What's that? It's another vixen. Another vixen. More vixens this year than anything. Baron by looks of it. Good one to get. This is normally quite a good place for Charlies. Quite a few off here at this field. 
little bit of movement down there in them trees, but uh, I don't know if it's billies or foxes. So there's only one way to find out. I'll have to get down there and have a look. This is actually with no alarm on at all. And it is now about 11 o'clock at night. There is a moon moon going up in Silvercast. That fox is like, I'd say about 350 yards, something like that. I can see him as clear as day. Three. Yeah, that fox was uh, just under four hundred yards uh, before I started calling him in. And that's uh, no IR. And to be honest, that is pretty clear. that was all right turned out it was a charlie not a billy in the trees there so i took a big sweep round, walked into the wind and uh charlie was about 400 yards i think he was just shy of 400 yards walking down the edge give it a couple of squeaks come charging in dropped him about uh, i think it was on just over 100 yards so uh let's go and see what it is number two big old dog fox absolute clonker he is i uh I won't turn him over, he's a bit of a mess the other side, he hit him straight in the bib and completely uh, took his one side out, so uh, he's better off lying that side. But uh, absolute plonker, real dark coat as well, good one to get. Well that didn't turn out too bad, two Charlies in the bag, seen plenty of deer. Um, funny thing is, uh, I was talking to a, an old boy in the pub uh, a while ago and I told him I got this permission. And uh, I told him that the farmer had uh, seen a few deer and wanted me to thin some of the bucks out. And he said, what, what a load of rubbish. He said, there's no deer on that ground. He said, I, I know that ground. He said, I farmed that ground and worked that ground for 20, 20 plus years. He said, there's no deer on there whatsoever. So uh, moral story is don't believe everything you hear in the pub. There's plenty of deer on here. So uh, I'll definitely be back and thin a few of them out. But yeah, not a bad night. Um, a dog and a vixen, uh, Baron Vixen again. Um, seems to be a hell of a lot of barren vixens around this year, but um, there's two good ones out the way. Um, there's um, on this on this farm he's got uh, quite a lot of uh, wetlands and pools and things like that. And uh, on here at the minute he's got shell duck and curlew and lapwing and loads of loads of other waders, uh, red listed species. So um, them two Charlies are best out the way. So uh, not a bad night. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe and a big thanks to all you that already have subscribed 
and uh, it does uh, it helps me out on YouTube and um, you know YouTube is so uh, tight at the minute they want to close everyone down but uh, if you keep liking and subscribing it gives them uh, you know less ammo to shut us down so uh, we can keep posting these videos so thanks again and I'll see you on the next one